G'day all, Simon here, Explosive Action, back for another Metal Music Update, again in front of the camera. Uh, thanks to everybody that uh, commented on the last video, um, all your support for my first appearance in front of the camera, very well received, so I'm doing it again, uh, but this time with a slightly better camera. Hopefully that will help with um, some of the grain and maybe a bit of the glare, we're going to work on that, we'll see how we go. We are listening to Lord of the Command, this is a forgotten very forgotten Australian technical death metal band from uh, this tapes from about 2000 um, and it features members of Stargazer and Cauldron Black Ram Virgin Black Mournful Congregation all of the above and is really cool and really really forgotten so glad to get a copy of that uh, also from the same seller I got uh, I'd have no idea, I've never known how to say these guys, Suda, we'll say Suda, um, and this is their 1999 album, Autumn Nocturnum, um, promo 1999, on a D90 tape, that's how they came out, I think that's how everything on War, at War Productions came out, um, really good material, really quite raw, um, more so than their later stuff, fold out, Quite nice, just standard photocopy paper, but it is legit. Um, yeah, and they've never been a band that I've been hugely into, but um, I couldn't pass it up. It's quite rare, and I do actually prefer this era from the band, so happy to have that. And the last tape, Judas Iscariot, Heaven in Flames, the original tape again on At War, and another one that's a D90 TDK. That's just how they were. Awesome album from Judas Iscariot. One man black metal band, everybody knows. This one's a slick, glossy uh, cover, so definitely know it's not a bootleg that way. Um, I think the music really lends itself to cassettes, so happy to have this one on that format. Very good. Heaven in Flames. Probably one of his best albums too, so... We'll move on to the LPs now. We have the new one, or the first one, from Necrovolt. This is really awesome. Toton, Toton Zerg Festering Peregrination. Oh god, anyway. It's um, really sludgy, thick uh, death metal. It's I don't want to quite say it's doom death metal, but it is really thick and all-encompassing sound. Um, really nice gatefold. It's on a purple LP, which looks really good, matches everything, so yeah, there you go, nice purple LP. Um, yeah, I think they're a relatively new band, I only did a demo and then this album on uh, Van Records, which I was very surprised to get on uh, Amazon, I didn't think they dealt with Van, but uh, they do, and um, yeah, if you like um, the sort of more mid-paced and just epic gloomy sounding death metal then check out Necrobolt. It sounds like zombies digging up corpses. It's really good. Recommended. Other side of the coin. This is unusual for me. Uh, Ginger with Macro. I know some people are probably rolling their eyes at me right now. Um, I dig uh, these guys. Not so much the early stuff. It was pretty average but um, with the EP before this Micro they started to get a decent sound, and then with this album Macro, they explored it even more. So this is a darling band at the moment, everybody seems to know about them. Band from the Ukraine, playing sort of modern progressive metal, um, with you know, high gain guitars like all of these bands do now, the modern bands. Um, with a uh, female vocalist that does cleans, very good cleans, and uh, really deep growls, so that's why I um, they've got a bit of a limelight at the moment for um, all the normies watching reaction videos on YouTube, unfortunately. But um, the material on this album is really good. Um, quite a mix of styles that they go through. So it's not going to be for everybody, particularly um, those that like the rest of this update. But for me, I uh, really dig Ginger Macro. Looking forward to the stuff that they keep putting out. This is a bit more to the usual styles that I play on this channel. This is Gregalda 
with their album, what actually is this called? Necromantic, no that's not the bloody name of the thing. Um, Into the Womb of Spirit, there you go. This is on Go to RX. Comes with a Obi strip, which is a neat thing that they do. There you go, big gatefold, um, black vinyl, won't probably getting it out. Comes with a poster and all kinds of stuff. Grigolda are really, really awesome. Um, if you like some of that, um, the raw black metal that's coming out the last couple of years, but not just pure blasting three minute songs, this is some quality material, a bit like um, sort of Nocturnal Departure, uh, Gahans Naval. If you like that, a bit more mature sounding um, raw black metal than Grigalda. Awesome cover art, I really love that. Um, yeah, these guys are great, definitely worth checking out. Not sure how many copies this was limited to, it's probably difficult to get now, but maybe it'll get reissued, it'll be on some other format. Into the oldies now, Nuclear Assault, Survive. Stoked to get this one, this is one of those albums that I wanted to get and it had to be on LP. Um, I'm finding old thrash, I have to get on a record. I don't know why, it's just, it just seems to lend itself and uh, I'm happy with that. Um, got a good price on it, just the black record, it's the original IRS pressing, has the cool lyric -y sheet thing, credits, all that kind of stuff, so yeah, my favourite Nuclear Assault album by far, That's Survive, very very cool, um, got it off uh, eBay I think and didn't pay a great deal of money for it. I was very happy and the condition's awesome. This one I was stoked about, another eBay one, Sanctuary with Refuge Denied. Um, their first album, I think, possibly their second, I can't quite recall, but produced by Dave Mustaine. If you don't know anything about this band, um, he sort of discovered them and um, made um, Epic take note and sign them. Really, so really awesome. Um, speedy. It's speed metal. It's a bit thrash, but it's it's speed metal, really. Um, awesome uh, Repka artwork on there as well. Good stuff. And uh, yeah, really great vocals. Uh, Worrell Dane, who has passed away, but um, he went on to do Nevermore. Um, and yeah, absolutely fantastic. This album, Sanctuary Refuge Denied. I'm really stoked to get it on LP. Also got Warlord, Thy Kingdom Come. This is a compilation. Love that artwork. Outstanding. Um, yeah, a compilation of uh, tracks from a few albums and EPs and things like that. I put out by Metal Blade back in, I don't know, 87 or something when they mixed all this stuff together. So yeah, early Metal Blade. Might have a year on it. 86, close. But, um, yeah, if, you haven't, if you've not heard Warlord, it's um, sort of traditional heavy metal, a bit more power metal, but not cheesy. Um, it looks like it's going to be cheesy, but I don't find it cheesy. It's just really good quality. Um, definitely worth checking out if you've not heard Warlord. Um, this is a good one to start with. Um, I don't feel the, the super need to get their entire discography, but um, this is a good one to have, I think, for me. So. And we'll move on to the CDs. The first one I got is Merciless Unbound. Expecting there to be some glare there. I won't be able to tell until afterwards. There's the cover. This one's on No Fashion Records, the original pressing from back in the day. I think it's about 97, 98. Not too sure, actually. This is a ripper. Really, really strong Swedish thrash. Um, I showed in my last update their second album. The name escapes me at the moment, but I was only ever familiar with their first album. Um, and the first album was out on um, uh, the uh, DSP label. It was the first signing, so that's how it became known in retrospect. And I've never really followed up the rest of their albums, but they are equally as good. They're less black, they're just more thrash. This is fast, um, death thrash style vocals, and strongly, strongly recommend if you've not checked it out. Merciless Unbound. Next one, uh, Take. Taka? 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 I don't know. Taka. Um, this is the second album, uh, Bjorg... Bjorgaven? 
be all governed. I don't know. Um, probably reflecting again there. Um, I didn't have this one. I had quite a lot of Tarka albums missing. Uh, it was just this one and I think one other. And I was managed to get it cheap. Nothing exciting there except for a pain in the ass modern invasion triangle sticker. With concrete they are stuck. It's amazing. Anyway, this is the Wounded Love Records original release. And um, yeah, happy to have it. All his stuff is good. Just solid black metal. Uh, Comic Con. Not Comic Con, but Comic Con. Ha ah, ha, it's my bad joke. With Converging Conspiracies. So this is their second album. In about, uh, what, 90. 93, I think. Right about then. Um, their first album. Didn't grab it. Not a, not a fan. I went back and listened to it. It's just sort of death and roll. It really doesn't do anything for me. Uh, but this one. It's it's still got the groovy death metal sound, but it is more ferocious. Interesting band too. It's a two-piece Swedish band, and um, they have a drum machine. Though they list drummers in these CDs, but they're fake. They don't exist. They have a drum machine, and they have revolving door vocalists. And on this particular album, they have Martin Van Druen from Asphyx, and that just makes the thing sound like an Asphyx album. So I think that's why I like it. It's really good, solid. Um, early death metal. If you've not heard this particular album, I'd say definitely check it out. Next one, Necromass with Mysteria Mystica Zofiriana. There you go. Uh, Italian, Italian black metal from '95, I think. Great shot there. Very '90s black metal. And. And then based on the era and the sound, it's Italy's answer to um, In the Night Side Eclipse. It's got a very similar sound to that. It's got uh, keyboards, it's got um, that mid-paced black metal of that era, and it's, um, it's really strong. I didn't know anything about this band until only last week, and I saw it on Discogs from a local seller. Snapped it up, really happy with it. I dig that cover art as well. I'm not entirely sure what's going on there. Uh, so he's got two big balls is what's going on there, but anyway. Stoked to get this one, got it really, really cheap. Dementor, kill the thought on Christ. This is not an easy one to get. Good, good, solid definition of meat and potatoes death metal, this. Um, don't know Dementor, it's a bit like Sinister and bands of that ilk, I think even from Denmark. Um, this is the Immortal Souls Productions release. Just straight up evil, sort of, yeah, solid death metal. There's not much more to say about it. It's really good stuff um, from 1996. Um, they did a split with um, Hetsheeds. I think that's how you know, say the name, Hetsheeds. Um, and I've got another one of their albums that the name, I don't recall, but it has been reissued. Um, but this is the original pressing of this one, Kill the Thought on Christ. Highly recommended. And we got Niflheim with their self-titled. At this point, I think I've just given up on getting that original LP. It goes for stupid money. Um, this goes for somewhat stupid money, but I got it for less stupid money. The uh, original Necrop Necropolis Records release. Really classic stuff. Sort of, I won't, I won't say black thrash, I'll say thrashened black metal. How about that? It's more black metal than it is thrash, but it's um, it's got that sound that you need to see that picture there. I think it sums it up. It's got that sound that uh, so many bands tried to replicate um, many years later, and I don't think it was ever as good as what Niflheim did on this album and Devil's Force, the one that comes after it, which I really need a copy of. Really awesome. Um, very, very raw sounding um, black thrash on this album. Totally recommended. Hell Butcher, Tyrant, and a Demon making up Niflheim. Very happy to get that. Also, I got Disaster, German black thrash. Uh, their second album, Hellfire's Dominion. This one's good. 
had their, well, I've got their first album, but I thought I was going to stop there with them. And then, uh, yeah, got this one really cheap. It's um, definitely more black thrash than, say, Niflheim's thrash and black, but I'm going to, I might pattern that term, I don't know. But it's fairly evil sounding stuff, except for the fifth track called Metalized Blood. And that is full nocturnal breed era black metal. It's just, it's all about drinking beer and spikes and vests and that kind of stuff. It kind of takes you out of the album a bit. I kind of wish it was a B-side on something um, because then there's a track like Past, Present, Forever that's just ripping black metal. Um, so it's kind of a mix of an album, but it's still really good. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the original press on uh, Merciless Records. So. Happy to have that. We've got their first two albums now. Uh, this one, Detest. I think these guys are from Denmark as well. Could be wrong, but I think that's right. With their album Dorval, uh, or Dorval. I'm not even sure if Dorval is a word. Dorval Finn? No. Anyway, so this is the reissue on uh, Dark Symphonies 2 disc set. There you go. You get the album and the EP, which is pretty much all they did. And is there anything else on here? Probably some demo tracks or something, I'm not entirely sure. I've only listened to the album so far. And they're really good, um, kind of like, a bit like Brutality, I guess would be the closest example. Um, if you like Brutality, you'd like uh, Detest, probably what I'd say. And yeah, uh, so there you go, it's the album and the demo on CD1 and CD2 is live at the Roskilde Festival 1993, so that's a nice little package. Um, you can get the original album if you look around on Discogs for not a terrible amount of money, but this is a lot less money, so I'm very happy with that. And the last one for this update. Cannot believe I'm actually holding this in 2020. A new album from Abremelin. This is fantastic. Never enough snuff. I just absolutely floored I listened to their track they put up a month or so ago and um, it sounded fantastic. I saw them live two months ago, two or three months ago, just before we were all put into lockdown. And um, it's like they haven't ever aged. They just went up there and played the same set that they used to play, plus some new songs from um, this album. They played um, Never Enough Snuff and they played uh, Knife Play, I think rings a bell and um, this album is like they've just never gone away it's a bit more leaning on the sound that they did on Dead Speak but with a human drummer and they've got um, uh, Psychroptics drummer Dave Haley doing this one it, it this is a slip there is a uh, slip a digiback within the band would prefer that nobody yet show the artwork within. It is full on, full on horror movie gore in that inside one. And um, I think they're a bit worried that uh, might get them banned. So I won't be showing the inside. Um, but what I will say is that you should go out and buy this album. If you are a fan of a Bremelin um, or just Australian death metal or just death metal, you need to get this album. It is possibly better than their original album. It's it's going to be on album. It's going to be on um, the top ten lists of the year for sure. It's going to be on mine. That is never enough snuff, and there just never is enough snuff. The tape stopped, so we'll leave it here. Thanks for watching. See you all next time.